Hey friends, let's learn the easy way to remember all the notes on the neck. And I'll show you two different ways of doing this. So for this first way, we must know a few things. We must know the names of the strings, so they're open strings, B, A, D, G, B, and E. So they're just the open strings. And we must know the chromatic scale, so not how to play it, just what the notes are in the chromatic scale. So we have A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, and G sharp. And we have our flats here as well. So we must know that to do it this first way. So this is pretty easy. We start with, let's say, the E string. So we're going to do the top E string. That's our open string, and we call that E. Then we just have a look at our chromatic scale, and we just go one step along. And the next note on our chromatic scale is F. So we just move up one fret. Now, one fret from the open string is the first fret. So that's an F. We move up another fret, we just move up another step on the chromatic scale, and that is F sharp or G flat. If we move up another fret, we just move another note up, and we have G, and we can just continue up the neck there. We have G sharp, one more along the chromatic scale. Then when we get to the G sharp, we just go back to the start of the chromatic scale, I move up one more, and that takes me to A, and then I can go along A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. Once I get to the 12th fret, it all just repeats. So we have E, A, D, G, B, and E, the same as the open strings. So with this method, all you need to do is start from the right note on the chromatic scale, and that's the note or the string we're playing. So if I start on the D string, I start on the D on the chromatic scale. If I move up one step, which is D sharp on the chromatic scale, I go to the first fret on the D. It takes me to D sharp, move up again, B, up again, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So just moving up. If I was to start on the B string, so second from the bottom, I start from B on the chromatic scale. The next step is the first fret on the B string, so that'd be C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. So that's one way to name the notes on the neck. Now the only problem with that is if I want to find out what this note here is, or one of the notes higher up the neck, I've got to go right through the method of going right up until I find what the note is. So the second method makes it a little bit easier, but again, there's a few things to remember. Before we go on, if you're enjoying the lesson, please like and subscribe and say good day in the comments. We have new songs and lessons every week. You can also make a small donation on my Patreon page, and that really helps me out. Now, same as the first method, we want to know the notes of the open strings, E, A, D, G, B, and E, and we want to know our chromatic scale as well. Now, what we want to do here is just remember the notes on the top string and not all of them. So we take our E string, we want to know that that's E. We want to know the first fret is F, third fret is G, A on the fifth fret, B on the seventh, C on the eighth, D there, and then it repeats again. E, F, we're moving up. So once we get the twelfth fret, that's fine. So we have to remember E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. And we also have to remember the notes on the A string. And this is easy, it's just our musical alphabet. So we have A open, B on the second fret, C on the third, D on the fifth, E on the seventh, F on the eighth, and G on the tenth. So it's just the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So we must remember that. Our top string is the alphabet. We're starting from E, though. So E, F, G, and then we're doing the alphabet from A. A, B, C, D, E. So that's what we have to remember. Now, if we want to know where a sharp and a flat is on the top two strings, that's easy. A sharp is always move up the neck one. So if I'm on G and I want to know where G sharp is, just move forward one. That's G sharp. So we don't need to remember the sharps and the flats. If I want D flat, I find D, go back one. D flat there or C sharp. If I want to know B and I want to know B flat, just go back one. B flat. I want to know A sharp, I know A is on the top string, and then I move forward one and I have A sharp. So that way we don't have to remember all the sharps and the flats. If we remember the main notes, we just have to move forward one or back one there. 
So that covers our top E string, our A string, we know all the notes, and the bottom E string, we know all the notes, because that's exactly the same as the top E string. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Exactly the same there. So now we've covered three strings, the E string, the A string, and the high E string. So how do we find the notes on the D string? This is pretty easy if I know all the notes on the top string as well. What we do, let's take a power chord first. So I'm going to play the third fret on the top E string. Then I'm going to play the fifth fret on the A string. And I'm going to take it down a string. So I'm actually going to play the fifth fret on the D string. So that's an octave chord there. We've got a fret apart and we go down two strings. So that makes that G. And when I'm holding that shape, that's a G on the D string. So they're both Gs there. If I wanted to do F, F is on the top string here. Do my octave chord shape, so power chord and come down a string, F and F. If I want to know where B is, I have B and B. To do G sharp, I go top string G sharp, do my octave, and I have G sharp there. So I don't have to remember the notes on the D string, I just find them using the octave chords here. So now I know E, A, D, and the high E. Now let's do the G string. We do it exactly the same, except now we use the bass note on the A string and we do our octave chord again. So we go power chord shape and go down an extra string. So I'm on the third fret again on the A string and I'm on the fifth fret now on the G string. And because that's C on the A string, it has to be C on the G string. Just an octave apart. That's E there. Do my shape again. I have E on the G string. If I want to know where B is, I've got B here and B here. B flat. So B flat is here. If I want to go D sharp, I know that that's D, D sharp, and then do my octave there. Now this may seem a little confusing at first, but the more you do it, it's really easy to start to pick the D string. I don't have to do that. I can, I can visualize, okay, that's A, so that's A as well. Or that's F, that's F there, so F and F. You become really good at doing it. So now we know all the strings except the B string. Now this one's a little bit confusing. We're gonna do the octave shape again, but we're gonna move one fret up. So this time I'm gonna play the fifth fret, let's say on the D string. Now instead of going to the seventh fret on the B, I'm gonna to go to the eighth fret. So now that's the octave there. But I don't know what that D note is, so I have to do my octave first. So that's a G. That's a G, do my octave again, that's a G, that's a G, so that's a G note there. So it's a little bit more, a few more steps if I want to know, say this note, I can go backwards. Still don't know, so don't know what the D is, and go back, oh that's a B. So I'm using the different shape when I'm coming from the D to the B string. If I wanted to know what that note is, I can just F sharp, I can go here, there's my octave there. And there are two different ways to name the strings on the guitar. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this guitar lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you're a beginner, I have an entire beginner's course for free on my YouTube channel. Just go to the beginner's course on my playlists. So I hope to see you soon.